This silvery fish with a row of dark spots across its back is called the American Shad. They typically live for about five years and spend most of their lives in the Atlantic Ocean. But shad are anadromous, which means they can move from salt water to fresh water. This is what they do once a year to reproduce. In the spring, millions of American shad begin migrating from the oceans to rivers and streams. This yearly cycle happens all along the East Coast from northern Florida up to Canada. Shad move inland along North Carolina rivers like the Noose, the Cape Fear, and the Roanoke. But how do the fish know when to go? It's based on water temperature. So as the seasons change from winter to spring and the water warms up to 50 to 55 degrees, the sexually mature shad know to begin their long and difficult journey. They travel hundreds of miles, not even stopping to eat along the way. The females return to the rivers in which they were born using a keen sense of smell, looking for rocky areas with flowing water. One female can lay several batches, totaling as many as 600,000 translucent eggs in one season. After they are fertilized by the males, the eggs hatch in about a week. They continue to grow into juveniles resembling their parents. When this generation gets strong enough and as the season changes to fall, they begin their long journey back toward the ocean and the cycle begins again.